Let's get straight into this shit. There's been a couple nights of rioting and looting in the city of Philadelphia, also known as the city of Brotherly Thug, over the police shooting and killing a young black man by the name of Walter Wallace. Uh, really quick history about Walter Wallace. He is a father of eight. Um, I guess after five, you don't give a shit anymore, but nonetheless, he had eight kids. And he had a long history of mental illness. Now, the day of the shooting, his family members called the police and said, this guy is acting really crazy. He's bipolar and manic depressive or bipolar, something, one of, the, one of those. So the police had went there twice before. I guess nothing happened. Maybe they just kind of left. He was calm and then he kind of acted crazy again. The third time when the police came, uh, he had a knife and he was going around the street yelling, getting crazy with the knife. He was armed with a knife. And uh, his, his mother had tried to stop him in the video and he brushed her off and then the police lit his ass up Bang, 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 bang. Uh, as the kids say on the street, uh, he got deaded. <laughs> the kids don't say that in the street. I say that in the street. Okay, so uh, another black man shot and killed by the police. So uh, thugs, looting, losers, and idiots uh, go to Foot Locker to get shoes because, well, that's what happens when a black person gets shot and killed by the police is that uh, you need to get shoes and flat screen TVs. Now, let me break down the shooting really quickly. First of all, I have a problem with this shooting because the police did not have tasers. I don't know who in the living fuck is in charge of issuing police their weapons or making the rules uh, about what they carry and when they use it. Whoever the fuck is uh, responsible for that in the Philadelphia Police Department needs to be fucking fired yesterday. You're fired, motherfucker. Every single cop should already have tasers on their persons at all time to prevent shit like this, okay? Number one. Number two, this man had a long history of mental illness, mental issues. If the family is calling your dumb asses and saying, okay, this guy's crazy, he has mental problems. He's, he's, you know, I got a knife. He's acting crazy. It's the job of that dispatcher to let the police know. And if you don't have a fucking taser and you're going to a scene of a black man waving a knife, what the fuck do you think is going to happen? Now, the problem with the taser thing is that they only work about 55% of the time or so, I'm not sure, something like that percentage. If you shoot a taser at somebody, it may not work. And if you try to shoot a taser, they're gonna run at you with a knife and stab the shit at you and slice your nose off, okay? And police aren't trying to get their nose or their lips cut off, stabbed in the face or what have you. However, I have a problem with this shooting simply for the fact that police came to the scene knowing that a mentally ill man with a gun was acting erratically and they knew they didn't have tasers. Mace ain't gonna really do shit in that situation. I don't know if they tried to mace him and that was earlier part of the video, I don't know. When they shot his ass, he fell and then everybody started going crazy. Yeah, motherfucker, yeah, motherfucker, yeah, motherfucker. Why weren't you doing that when he was alive? Now, I'm not saying it's your guys' responsibility when your cousin or your brother or somebody has a knife and they're acting insane. But I would say this, uh, you probably know what's possibly gonna go down, okay? You pretty much know that if he goes after them, they're going to shoot and kill him. So it was your job as the family members or as a neighbor, as a concerned citizen that you're about to see somebody get killed in front of you you should have been like yo bro this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna sneak up behind him i'm gonna grab him from the top you get his legs let's get this motherfucker down and nobody did that nobody gave a fuck you just you got your fucking phones and waited for a man to get killed right in front of you that's what happens you want to go crazy when he's dead but you don't want to do shit when he's alive um i don't know I definitely think the officers should not be charged with any kind of crime whatsoever because no crime was committed. Uh, should they be fired? No, I don't think the officers should be fired. 
I think whoever is in charge of the Philadelphia Police Department, whether it be the chief or whoever is in charge of making sure that officers have the proper equipment to do their job properly, needs to be fucking fired immediately, today. But regardless of the fact, that does not give anybody the right to go out, break shit, loot shit, steal things from people, burn the city down, you're going around yelling, oh, my people are hurt, my people are hurt. Okay, you didn't know that, man. The only reason why you care is because he's black and you do not care. You just want free shit and you want to loot. You want to cause trouble. You want to set shit on fire. Uh, you're not protesting anything. You're not doing anything to help uh, with, the, with the black cause. You're not doing absolutely anything. Okay, when you guys start burning shit, looting, rioting, all that stuff, all you do is besmirch the name of the person who was killed. And in this situation, even though this guy had a bit of a criminal record, hey, when it comes to mental illness, that's it. You can't help yourself. You got a bad brain. Now, you need to take your medication so that brain is not so bad. But if you don't take your medication and you don't have family members making sure you take your medication, you're going to act out wildly and do shit like this. I don't feel he should have been killed. I don't feel that the police did their job properly. But then again, they did not have the proper tools to do their job said so properly. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, it just seems like more black people making themselves look bad, making Walter Wallace look bad, making his dad look bad, making his mom look bad, okay? The only good that comes out of this is hopefully his kids will be set up for you know school they'll have their school paid for if they you know whatever i mean eight kids and you're 26 27 years old what the fuck but i guess you're just like just throwing that dick around whatever you do whatever you do hey you ain't hurting anybody except uh yourself at the end of the day and your kids if you're not there the dad to take care of them but i, I mean i don't know i highly doubt that there are all the kids were with the same woman you can't have eight kids uh, and be 26, 27, 28 years old with the same woman. Unless, her, I mean, her just, you know, her vagina is like, like a flat tire. It's just gone. Anyways, guys, I'm running out of time. Let me know in the uh, comments below. What do you think about this? Uh, I think this time, I think this is not a George Floyd situation.